that enough? Or do I need another layer? We've been thinking for a while about getting a camper van, haven't we, dear? Mm -hmm. Quite a few years, actually. And today, we're actually in one. Look at the back. We are going away for the weekend down the west coast of uh, Wales. Mm -hmm. We're going to test it out and see if we like having a camper van before we buy one. Is it going to be a yay or a nay? My gut is at the moment telling me a little bit nay, but we'll see. <laughs> and Cookie is back there somewhere. She's like miles away. Cookie! There she is. There she is. <laughs> well, this should be fun. This should be fun. Yeah. We're going to take you along and we'll get some clips and stuff of what we're doing and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. And by the end of this trip, by Monday, Friday to Monday, by the end of it, we are going to decide whether we're going to go for a camper van or not. We're on the way to Anglesey first and then tomorrow we're going to go to... Uh, where are we going? Yeah. Pafueli. Yeah. And then we're gonna go the next day to Port Maddock and Port Merion. And then the last day we're gonna be at uh, Aberystwyth. But... Fluent Welsh person here. Well, <laughs> first negative about having one of these camper vans. I've just been to the petrol station. Filled, well, I'm not even filled up with diesel, right? It already had a quarter of a tank and I got to 90 quid <laughs> and it weren't clicking off so I panicked, I got scared so I stopped filling up. 90 quid! <laughs> Let a fellow camper go in front of us. Anglesey, here we come. First stop, just before we go to our first site, fish and chips. Fish and chips by the sea. Fair. On angle C. Where are we? Rosinia or something? Ros Ros yeah. Rosnia. Rosnia. I know what now you pronounce. Oh, it's quite nice here. There's even uh, people in the sea. Yeah, I know. But it's yeah. very calm, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually. Lots of people, lots of doggies. Here we are for our first night in angle C. Only a little a little site, but it's got everything we need. See if Cookie's having some dinner. Belle's getting us some brews on. I'm attempting to make some space so we can sleep. <laughs> got the pop top up, just to give us some headroom really. We're not gonna be sleeping in that, I don't think. We're going to be sleeping on here. Have you, if she's shown on our boo boo, the fact we've got nothing for the front? No, we've got a problem at the front. There's no cover. We'll figure it out. Oh, this is not too bad at all. Little shower cubicles, toilets. I might even be able to have a poop in there. I'm not sure though. Well, we're all set for the evening. <laughs> Kind of. I haven't set the bed up yet. That's going to be fun. Now what are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's half past four. We, we've got to enjoy each other's company. Grad. <laughs> what do you mean? One with nature, dear. One with nature. I'm going to have a shower and go to bed. I By the way, I have assessed the toilets. Poopability factor is maybe at a five. Have you had a shower already? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, I, I don't like going to these kind of toilets. It's very quiet here in the video. I have to whisper. Tell you what, when you go and drop one in there, we're going to wear it. <laughs> Is that enough? Or do I need another layer? You ever watch the Blair Witch Project? Hmm. It's all like that, shake it, Cam. <laughs> That'll be you when you're walking the dog in the early hours. <laughs> <laughs> Made it through the night and I'm being spooned by my two girls. <laughs> There's one. Look at the state of that. 
because you kept me awake all night tossing and turning. And there's the other one. Oh, she's awake too. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous. Oh. Hey, baby. How do you like it? How do you like it? Thank you, bud. Okay. Very nice. Hmm. <laughs> Lovely day today. Well, we're on our way now to, well, we're in Newborough Forest, as recommended by two friends of ours. Shout out to Judith and Alan. Yay. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go and see what this place is like. It's supposed to be a nice woodland walk that leads down to the some nice beaches. Okay. Here we go. Newborough Forest Beach. Look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? Stunning. It just doesn't feel like you're in Wales, does it? This is amazing. Thank you, Judith and Alan. This is stunning. What a spot. Absolutely lovely, this. <laughs> They're looking gorgeous as ever. Got the sea, the beach, and then the forest. We zoom in over there. Well, I'd highly recommend this to anybody coming up this way, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. That's stunning. What is it? Newborough. Newborough Forest. Newborough Forest. Just navigate to the car park that's by the... Uh, it is paying display, but it's not too bad. The car park by the sea. A couple of quid for two hours. Not bad at all, really. I think after this, I think we go get a nice fruit, don't you? Yes. I agree. By the way, you're paying. Hi guys, we are on our way to our next destination, which is Cuffwelly, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Newborough was amazing, I would recommend it highly to anybody, and the drive from there to here has been stunning too. Uh, so yeah, let's see what Cuffwelly has to offer. Just doing some charity shops in Pefueli, the high street. Babe, that backgammon board. Yeah. I'll show you something in a minute that I just bought in the charity shop. Only one thing I've bought, but it could be a banger. Could it? It might be a clanger, but it could be a banger. Let's hope so. Right, this is what I've picked up. 
the only thing I bought in a few charity shops that we went in, right? This is not really a thrifting trip, you see. But it's this vintage Perspex Dappy backgammon set. Now, I don't know if it's complete, and it does have a couple of issues. It's been repaired there. But when I had a quick look on eBay at prices, I'll flash it on screen. Those, those were the only ones I could find. But even with issues, this could be worth a bit. We're just going through Snowdonia National Park whilst we head to our next campsite. Where, where is it? Festiniog something or other. <laughs> Blarney Festiniog. That's what I'm going to say. It's basically in Snowdonia National Park. Yeah, it's about 10 minutes from here. Yeah, lovely, absolutely lovely around here. Lovely drive, look at the views. You can't beat this. Well, we're here at the next uh, campsite, and what, what's it called? Quarry something? Quarry view. Quarry view, and basically we're right in the middle of a quarry. <laughs> I see you Let's turn you around and I'll show you. The van is all set up with the pop top ready to go. Cookie's happy, had dinner. There's Belle about to do tea. What's for tea tonight? Pasta a la carte. Oh. <laughs> so basically, I'm looking at pasta with hot dogs there. <laughs> Chris yeah. is happy now he's got a decent brew, aren't you? Yeah. He went out and bought bottled water. We're using bottled water, it's much better. Much better brew. Let's have a look at the, uh, the site. Here's the quarry you can see at the back here. So it's a quarry view. They weren't lying. The description is correct. It's actually really nice. Sun shines out. Looks like mostly like little camper vans. There's our little patch. Yeah, nice. Hey Cooks, how are you doing? We're hoping to be a bit more organised tonight because our first night was a bit chaotic. We arrived late. We did only pick the van up at like four o'clock. We arrived really late and also... Look what we did figure out. Yeah. We figured out that the seats spin round. Yeah, we didn't really know what we were doing, whereas today we have got a clue what we're doing, so mm. we're a little bit better. Mm. Babe, I can't get out. I'm stuck. Stop, look and listen. Don't help me, will you? I'm one-handed here. Well, stop filming. This is really big hill. Which one? Oh, we can go along there or we can go along this, it's like the biggest. This way. This is just outside of our uh, campsite, the slate quarry. Literally, we've already said, slight tremor, we're getting buried. Yeah, that lot will come down and that'll be the end of our days. And that would not be a nice way to go. You know what I'm thinking? <laughs> Final destination, babe. <laughs> You know when you're driving behind a car or a truck and it's got loads of logs and wood in the back? It always reminds me of Final Destination. Right. That's a lot of slate. Look at all that. Let's have a little look out here. I was saying to Belle earlier, shall we go to a boot sale in the morning, tomorrow, Sunday morning, because there's one at Port Maddock um, Football Club and we went past the sign for it as well. And um, she was like, like she, no, yeah. uh, let me tell the story. Okay, okay. She said to me, why don't you go and I'll stay in bed? <laughs> How the fuck are you supposed to do that? We're, 
Our car is our bed. <laughs> I'm tired. So anyway, it's, it's a bit hard to get up at six and pack everything up. Pack up the whole motorhome, caravan fucking thing. And go to a boot sale. And then we have to, that'll be like, that'll be the end of the morning this for us. This is just a chilled weekend. Well, poop, check. Shower, check. <laughs> Hot chocolate, check. I accidentally, while I was in the shower, did a big shower fart. And there was other people. <laughs> and it was a bit loud. <laughs> Just can't take you anywhere, can I? Bought you a nice posh camping site. Which, by the way, this second one has amazing facilities. It's very good, actually. Very nice. Very nice showers. Very nice showers at Quarry View. <clears throat> Lots of flies around here. Like, there's not really. <clears throat> there's there is, babe. Baby. Seriously. <laughs> so yeah, so well done, quarry view. Ten stars. I'm gonna go for night number two. Hopefully it'll be better than last night. Yes, we have prepared ourselves a little <laughs> bit better this time and we have a mattress that we found in the pop up bit on the top. Here we are another morning, another lovely breakfast from Belle. Freggy bread with a bit of bacon on. Much better sleep last night, thankfully. And we go again today. Morning, folks. So after a better night's sleep and a nice breakfast cut by moi, again, uh, we were off to Port Merion. I really wanted to go and see <laughs> Port Merion, actually. I really did. But they're not, uh, they're very anti-dogs, which, which means that Belle can't come. Whee! <laughs> I wouldn't say they're anti-dog, but they don't allow dogs because... Well, that's anti-dog for me. <laughs> because they want the people to enjoy being there and they want to... have to help me here, babes. Maintain. Can't see. <laughs> right, okay. Make sure Chris doesn't kill himself getting out of that junction. Uh, yeah, they want to maintain the place, so we're not going. So instead, we're doing the thing that Chris never does. And we're going to try and see if the uh, Port Maddock car boot is dog friendly and we're gonna go at half past nine. Oh. Half past nine. Listen, we weren't expecting <laughs> to go, so uh, we'll go and have a little wander around the boot sale. But, yep. you know. And then after that, who knows, we'll figure it out. See you in a bit. Little duck for the duck race. And he and he says, he said, this is the book to go with this. Oh, well, didn't get loads at the boot sale, but we were a bit late. Um, we did pick up a nice duck race prize. This little footballing duck. Um, I got a fat face coat, which is a real nice heavyweight UK size 12 ladies coat. Winter's coming after all. And we got um, a pair of boots, nice condition. They are the brand Riker and I, they look like quality. So I looked them up and they could be worth, uh, you know, a little bit, 30 quid maybe, 35, cost me a fiver. The coat was a fiver, by the way. Um, and would you know it, two Chupa Chups caps. What are the odds of us finding these? And Belle said, can you imagine if it, one of these was signed underneath? If you're new to the channel, you haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. But these have been a bit of a uh, mascot to our channel, the Chupa Chups hats. Shout out to the Chupa Chups crew. There you go, the Chupa Chups crew. Shout out, there you go. Right, we're going to move on. We've just pulled into a little lay-by and... Uh... 
because we saw this lovely view. And we've walked down the hill and look at this. Yeah. This is gorgeous, isn't it? it looked like it was just going to a railway track, but there's like a promenade. That's where we were heading to anyway. So I think Belle's gonna walk there just across the beach. It's probably further than we think. And I'm gonna go back and get the van and meet her there. I think that's the plan. But this is absolutely stunning. We're just outside Barmouth because that there should be Barmouth. There. Barmouth Town Centre is a little bit busy, isn't it? We couldn't get parked. So we've come up further up the coast. Well, up the beach. I was going to say, we haven't, we've just literally come up the beach where it's a bit quieter. We come up further up the coast where it's a bit quieter and we're having lunch here. I didn't realise you were filming me. <laughs> I'm not tired at all. <laughs> and no. then we're going to go off somewhere else and I don't know where yet. Yeah, I can recommend this little promenade cafe and wine bar for all you doggy people out there because they've been super attentive to cook it. You can recommend it but we haven't eaten it yet. We haven't eaten here yet. Mm. can recommend the food too. There's our little baby. There's where we just had lunch. And now we're going to give Cookie a bit of a run out and a swim probably. Lost a ball again. There it goes. Caught on camera, thief. Ball thief. Really nice dog friendly beach at this end of Barmer. Ball has been retrieved. Theft is no longer. They have not permanently deprived Cookie of her ball. De-arrested. What a day. parking and the parking was pretty decent as well hence the fact it was rammed made it to Aberystwyth and actually we parked near the castle. I didn't realise there was a castle, but there is, so I'll turn you around. The remains of a castle of course. Pirate 
good ship. <laughs> Probably not, but looks good. made it to our last destination which is Aberystwyth just outside the town. Is this the final destination? Final destination. Brew time. Belle's getting a brew on and the van next door to us is quite big. Now that's what you call a motorhome. That's a big one isn't it? We're actually getting much quicker now at setting up the van. The thing we do is when we arrive at site now this is the third night so we're getting used to it. We spin the chairs around. We learn how to do that after the first night. Mm -hmm. We get the pop top up. Belle gets a brew on. And Everything we sort the dog here. out. Everything dog gets dinner. Goes in the boot. Yeah, all the junk in here gets transferred to the boot. And then when it's bedtime or getting close to bedtime, we put the rock, rock and roll chair down. We've learned to take the mattress out of the pop top and put the mattress on here. Was much better last night. We cover all the windows up and yeah that's that's how we do it we just move things around constantly. And prior to that we have tea to cook which is hot dogs a la carte tonight. Mm, very tasty. <laughs> With Greg's cake for pudding. Cheers. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, happy holidays, happy camper vanning. Cheers cookie. <laughs> So, as we come to our last evening on our little camper van trip you know, on the west coast of Wales, which has been really nice actually, hasn't it's it? It's been stunning. It's yeah. been really nice and we've really enjoyed the camper van actually. Um, it's took us a bit, a little, bit of getting used to, as it would do, because mm. we have never used one before, ever. Um, I'm still but... not a big fan of the sleeping in it. Um, so. Yeah, the sleeping is kind of... Hmm. I think if we had our own, we'd have to make sure we got yeah. some sort of mattress topper or something. A, a proper good mattress <laughs> topper, yeah, because it is a little bit uncomfortable. But yeah. space-wise, it's been okay. When we started this uh, video and this trip, I said that we were going to make a decision at the end of it mm -hmm. as to whether we were going to buy or not to buy a camper van because we've been thinking about this for... A good couple of years, right? Even when we was in Devon, we were thinking about getting one. But the thing is, we can't afford just to buy a camper van as an extra vehicle. Mm. So I would have to sell my car and the van would be my day van as well as camper van. So we've been thinking about it. We haven't actually said we're 100% yes or 100% no. So whilst we're on camera now, I'm going to count down okay right i'm gonna count down no three to one okay and we both have to say yes or no so yes to a camper van or no to a camper van okay 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 yeah okay okay so it's a big decision it is a big decision but we're just going to make it by doing one two three no because should we, we... do three rock paper scissor yeah, could do. <laughs> we have been talking about this all weekend, right? But we haven't actually said 100% what we're going to do yet. We've been going to and fro, to and fro. Because there is pros and there is cons, isn't there? Right? But here we go, right? I'll go free. I'll go free, two, one. I get one, the rules. And then bang, you've got to right. say okay. yes I or no. I get the rules. Okay, and we'll see if we're on the same page. Okay. Three, two, one. Yay! Yes! <laughs> I'm glad you said that. I am glad you said that. Only, so, okay. Only because we've discussed how useful it would be to do really nice long day trips in it yeah. as well. Not just overnights and not just like trips away like for weekends and stuff definitely but i really like the idea of being able to go somewhere for the whole day and just cook and eat and do what we're doing out out of the van while we're yeah. like trekking around yeah. 
Mm. And that was something that we mentioned, I think, like yesterday or something. Um, because I was kind of leaning, you know what, I don't think it's worth getting one. Mm. But then Belle pointed out that we do do a lot of like day trips. Like day tripping. You know, two hours there, two hours back, wherever it is. And the fact that we could just plot up somewhere and day trip out of the van and not even have to not sleep in it necessarily. It kind of, that kind of did it for me. And I thought, yeah, you're right there. We could use it a lot for day trips. So yeah. we're both singing from the same page. So that's good. Because if one had said yes, one had said no, we'd have had to have gone no. <laughs> so anyway, the, the thing is as well. It's not been horrible. No, it's been... Like, it's not been horrible. To be fair, though, the, the weather has been amazing. Yeah, the weather has been amazing. But I would, I think we would quite enjoy it, even if the weather's bad, because you can throw the heating on in the van. Yeah. And I think it'd be cozy nice to up. do some, yeah, some cosy winter trips as well. Yeah. Now, so the next step is, I've been looking at vans for months, you know, just on the off chance of seeing something, and just to, to see where the market is on the vans. Um, but what I have said is... I'm, we might not be able to afford a VW like this one because we have got a budget so it might be that we move into some other vehicle um, and we have got a few specifics that we want that weren't in this one yeah because this is pretty basic mm -hmm. this is pretty basic I think to make it just as we want it there's definitely a few Few added, little things. added bits that we need or it's not going to happen and to be fair that is the whole reason why we did this trip mm -hmm. right to see if we could do the whole camper van thing and enjoy it um, to see how these vans work to see if they drive nice they, they do drive nice it's been a lovely drive you can see over the hedges yeah <laughs> there's more view point. you can see over hedges <laughs> instead of being in a car and not seeing anything yeah um yeah and just to see like what we look for in a van so i guess we've got to start looking for a properly looking you know to try and find one now and it's winter coming and vans are cheaper in winter yeah and the bottom line is if we can't find a van that we want it's not meant to be no nope. but at least we've made a decision now at least yeah. we're gonna look and see if we can find one worst comes to the worst we buy a van we don't use it for a year i'll sell it and i'll get another car that's it live and let live you only live once this is a new this is another devon one this is a let's just do it yeah see how we feel and if we don't like it at least we tried i'm feeling that you know yeah. it's kind of like you know what let's you just only... do it let's just do it just say yes just say yes yeah yes ma'am mm. mm. only to this though not everything <laughs> mm. well, that's it guys we're pretty much home actually we decided to leave a bit earlier than anticipated a bit earlier <laughs> yeah Somebody couldn't sleep, so we set off at half past three. <laughs> Hence the fact I'm alive this because I've not been to bed yet. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our little weekend away in the camper van. We have. It's been, yeah. it's been good fun. It's been good fun. And we've seen some stunning parts of Wales. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. And uh, let us know in the comments if you've got a camper van or if you're thinking about buying one. And if you've got any tips for us for buying a camper van. Yeah, and for future comforts. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, cheers for watching. And we'll see you again soon.